Hello, little kitty. Hi, Fred. Good boy. Good boy. Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are celebrating my mum's birthday. We are heading off to the Cotswolds for the day. Absolutely loved it last year when we went for like a whole day out. Me and my mum actually got so tired last time. We were there for like the entire day. Like I would say 10 hours, wasn't it mum? Mm. Honestly. Yeah. We went to like five different places and yeah, it was cold at the start but then it was proper like winter vibe. So we're going now. It's obviously September now. So it's the start of autumn as well, which is exciting. Got my little autumn colours on to celebrate because also as well. Well, the Cotswolds is just such a scenic place. So I feel like you have to kind of wear this colour to kind of blend in, sort of thing, you know. Really looking forward to go and spend the day together. We're with my brother, my sister, Josh, my mum, and Kessie's boyfriend, Jack. So really excited to have a little family day out together. Yeah, Got a little vegan sausage roll for the journey. Bargain. My sister is on the road today, driving with a little cute car. Oh, So the journey is over, we have now arrived in the Cotswolds, we're just going to pay to park and then we're going to have a little explore around. Really excited, so let's go. I keep saying let's go, but let's go. Hello little yeah. Miami boy dragon. Like <laughs> so we are parking in the Bruton Vell Parking Limited. That's the prices if you're interested. If you do decide to head here, they've got public toilets, a map of all the little wildlife going on as well. And then over there, I'll show you in a minute, there's a little cafe as well. So all in the car park, which is efficient. And this is the little cafe that I said about earlier. Maybe we've got ice cream for you. Dog ice cream, look. Oh, I guess it Hi guys, so welcome back to another vlog. Watch this, look. Mum, we've got to pay to enter the village, unfortunately. We're to the village, really? What? Let's go. Wonga, wonga, wonga. I was just getting angry at that bird. That's a very cute little door. It's like um, a fairy door or something. We are now in the little village area. Ah. Really cute. For mum's birthday, I actually bought her um, a scratch card. I picked number five because obviously she's 55 and she won 50 quid. So yes, yeah, just gone and cashed that in. Happy days, isn't it, mum? Give me the money. Show me the money. It makes a change, doesn't it? Yeah. Quite often you buy someone's scratch card and they, they always lose or get like a pound or two pound, but 50 quid is quite a good win. Glorious day. Look at a cinnamon bun. Kessie loves those. Yeah. There's some cinnamon buns over there that you like. £25,000. Second hand. That's good stuff. We're going to check this out again because we loved it last time. Proper little sweet shop. Hello. Look at all these chickens. All vegan as well. Josh, look at that. Frog, beacon and sausage. Oh my god. 15 days. No way. We've just stepped into Venice now. Look how pretty everything is. Oh, so much better than we came last time. The weather's so much nicer. Myself and my followers and you later when you watch it back. I don't want to be in this vlog. Well, look, look at this. You are. That's not a lot she can do. Do a flip. If you're a Spider-Man, do a flip. I'm just a deaf guy. If I'm like. <laughs> Taking it all in, Taking it all in, yeah. What do you reckon, babe? Fine. Yeah. yeah. Lovely. And let's go onwards and upwards, guys. Do you feel like it's your birthday? What a dream, well, living the life, isn't it? Yeah. I'm just going to go out and get me uh, egg, cheese, and bread. Do you know yeah, what I mean? In the proper bakers and the proper cookies. Well, sat out reading newspaper. Yeah, your mum's here. It's a lovely little place. The first thing she'll say if she sat out there. What's that? So I cup seeing her around and go, God, this is bloody lovely, this is. Yeah, definitely. Damn right. <laughs> this is the life. Hey, little magic shop. Wanks and jokes. Wanks. Does it say that? Yogurt pot. Jack's being brave and going in. That's very deep, mind. You're lucky you're, um, you're tall, mate. Except me, I'll be drowning by now. <laughs> Fighting against the tide there. That's actually a jellyfish. The whole squad's out for this. Don't you just love family? Like, they know you have a fear of birds and then just spend the day feeding the birds. <laughs> ducks are right there. I don't really mind ducks. It's the, it's the jumping around that I don't like. like all the flying and stuff and up. Too bad, I'm actually quite close considering. Look at the state of those birds over there. What do you state? Well, the state of them, they're jumping around like lunatics. Yeah, The ducks are civilized. No, 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 the ducks are showing them off. They know what's up. So cute here, I love it. It's 
nice. This bit is normally like the busiest area to be honest with you, I don't know why. But as you kind of go round here, it kind of quietens up a little bit. Proper little English home. Oh, you look about 30 years old, you see that? <laughs> yeah, he's been in a queue that long, he's come out 40. <laughs> <laughs> That's the biggest queue in the whole place. Well, now it's gone down, but it was literally over here just now. Um, I've just been to Sue Ride as well and changed my outfit because my outfit earlier was just so see through, and I just can't handle the fact that everyone and their daughters were seeing my underwear and my bum. This is the motor museum where they have Brum. I don't know if it's a real one or a replica, but um, yeah, he lives in here. Oh, so nice. Hear that sound. It's just so pretty here, it's really, really nice. We're not going to go in the car museum, so we're going onwards and going to get something to eat. This is my afternoon sleep. I've seen a lot of weather, so we're going to go this Got to get out of physio in. He's definitely not a nice Thank you, babe. Mm. That's, that's got sweet corn in it and everything. Yeah. <laughs> we are currently on our way back home now. And as I mentioned earlier, I had to change my outfit because honestly what I was wearing earlier um, was so see-through. It was a Shein jumpsuit which I bought ages ago. Probably best for the summer to be honest with you and maybe a holiday abroad. But um, yeah, it's in my bag here. Um, went to Sue Ride at a charity shop. I think it's the only charity shop around there actually. I don't know why, but lately I just feel like I'm so bad at planning outfits to wear. I don't know, it always goes wrong. Like it's like either a hole in it or it's for the wrong weather. Like I wear something really sunny and then it's raining. But minus the little outfit trouble, um, we actually had a really nice day today. It wasn't too much, we haven't overdone it. We literally stayed there about four and a half hours, I would say. Had a nice time strolling around the shops. Bought up a little necklace as well from the rock shop. Reminds me of the Isle of Wight. Actually, most of the shops there reminded me of the Isle of Wight, like um, Champlain Village. It's actually quite busy as well. And like I said before, we went there during like winter time um, and it wasn't that many people around, but there's literally American tourists there, which is really fun. I always love hearing their accents and stuff like that because it's really interesting. To and then we went for afternoon tea and that was really good but it was expensive not gonna lie it was expensive but i feel like i said as well to my mum last time the cotswolds is very touristy compared to like other places in the uk if i'm being honest like most of the prices you just wouldn't pay for that day to day um the fish and chip shop we went to before was like 25 pound each for fish and chips and that's one of the first times i've actually sat into a restaurant and literally walked out because of the price yeah the afternoon tea what i had was 20 pounds for like a, like I would say a sandwich with three different fillings, a scone, which normally there's two in afternoon tea to be honest, and then you get a pot of tea shared between three of you. I'm not like slagging off or anything, but um, you could definitely get better value for money in other places if I'm being honest, like a little corner cafe or something like that. But yeah, I feel like it is basically priced for tourists rather than people who are from the UK, if that makes sense. It's really nice to spend time with family and obviously for my mum's birthday, she likes it there. And it made a change not spending the whole day there because we were so tired last time. I cannot believe we went to that many places in a day. Um, but yeah, I'm going to stop talking now because I'm just going to waffle on for so long. But we are heading back um, to Bristol. Sorry.